We're back with portraits of biography. And we're on location again. Uh, we have the legendary, uh, this historical landmark, New Life Missionary Baptist Church. That's under the leadership of that great servant leader, Dr. Cardis Brown. And we also got to thank his son, Cardis Brown Jr., for availing the facilities for this great, great event that is taking place today. Well, today and coming up at the Greensboro Coliseum Center, it's called the Court of Dreams Basketball Game, which is going to feature an all-star team from Greensboro, the Greensboro All-Stars versus the Virginia TBT team. They have some world-class players as well. Well, speaking of world-class players, UNC Chapel Hill great, ACC legend, professional basketball player, none other than Will Graves in the building. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, great to see you. Great yes, sir, to see you. Yes, He's training, getting ready. So, uh, why with everything that you're doing, and you're doing a lot, sewing back in the young people, why did you take your time out to get involved with disabled veterans and everything that's going on with this game? Well, because it's the best of both worlds. And if I'm dealing with the youth, it would be great to do something with the youth and the veterans. Me a chance to play in Greensboro again. I haven't played here in Greensboro in over a decade. So, you know, it'll be good to uh, play in front of my kids. I yell at them a lot. Like, uh, you know, they can be like an old man that can't do it. So, it'll be a great day to support the veterans and also show the kids, show my kids and other kids uh, what I can do on the court and what they should do. Wow, UNC Chapel Hill legend and Dudley High School legend. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, so when you played here last, it's 10 years ago. Yeah, over 10 years ago. Over 10 years. What game was it? You know the game? Uh, no, not. Were you in the UNC? Greensboro, uh, yeah, I think I was in the UNC. Yeah, we were in the, uh, in the ACC tournament. Wow. Lost first round. ACC yeah, tournament. Lost first round to uh, Georgia Tech, I think. ACC tournament. Georgia Tech first round. So this is, don't call it a comeback because you've right, been here for right, years. Right, right, right. Uh, old school hip hop heads know that. <laughs> LL. But anyway, so you saw fit to so sew into young people and the veterans. Yes. So you're getting our, our elders and our young people. Right, right. The best of both worlds, like I said before. Is that a value that you got from your family? Uh, yeah, for sure, for sure. My family, family. Yeah, yeah. My family we, we're built on uh, family roots, family traditions. Uh, growing up, we always had uh, cookouts every Friday, uh, Sunday dinner. Those were more geared around a religious style, you know, prayer in the house. Um, yeah, I, from a long time ago, you always respect your elders because they've been living here longer. Right. So they have more wisdom. Yes, yes. You know, and, and I always take pride in being that middle person in between the old and the young where I can relate to the youth because I was hard-headed, uh, wow. you know, when I was younger, didn't want to listen to an older person sometimes, but I also was a good kid in the sense of I was able to listen and collect knowledge when I needed it and kids need to understand like, that not to talk first but listen first, and this will be a good bridging of the gap between the kids and the elders. A bridging of the gap, which is so needed. If you need a motivational speaker, <laughs> this is your guy right, right here. Right, right. And big shout out to Charles and Fred Whitfield. Uh, the, the Greensboro Swarm is uh, under the parent organization of the Charlotte Hornets. Happened to be my next door neighbor. We had the same backyard growing up, me and the Whitfield. So, listening to Miss Whitfield with my second set of parents. Big shout out to them. Let's close this out with this, Will. Um, talk about your youth program, what you're doing with young people, and how somebody can get in touch with you if they have a young student athlete that wants to be trained by you. Oh, well, um, I, came back, I came back from Greece last year. Uh, during the pandemic, uh, it was a little tough with jobs. And, playing professionally right, in Greece. Playing professionally in Greece. Um, there was some things going on with the money in the pandemic. So I, I kind of came home and wanted to do a fresh start. So I thought what would be the best thing to do for life after basketball? The best thing to do for life after basketball for my team was to stay within basketball. 
but teach the youth with a mentorship program and skills academy. So I have uh, started the Will Grade Skills Academy. You can, find, you can reach me at Will Grades at WGSkillsAcademy.com. That's my email. Or you can go straight to my website at WGSkillsAcademy.com. Wow. Awesome. You got books in you. Yes, I just sir. I just hear it. And I might need to holler at Malcolm Teasdale, a uh, great author out there who, matter of fact, Malcolm co-wrote uh, the founder of Brand Jordan's book. So we need to talk. Right. Sure. Need to yes, talk. Sir. It's, it's about that time. It's about that time. Yes, Let me thank you again. Salute you on your thank life you. and what you've done and your awesome career and sewing back into this community. Thank, thank you. you again. Thank you for the opportunity. You're welcome. Fortune Survivor.